I got something in the <coughs> mail today. Well, it's actually delivered to me. Uh, this is for, well, I guess I'm a bit of a toy collector now, even though I said I'm not. I've got a couple of things I'd like to buy. But uh, you'll be seeing this after the other the other video, I guess, or I might add it in or to see how I feel. But yeah, let's just open it up and check out what's inside. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, this is huge. Ooh. I did not expect it to be this big. So this is the mailing box. 2010. So check this out. If I can get it on there. Master of the Universe Classics Weapons Rack. Uh, I got this for the Origins Castle Grayscale mainly because I was a little bit disappointed in the size and the lack of weapons compared to my vintage set which had a bunch. So instead of buying a group of vintage stuff which could have been a good idea actually now that I think about it and I could have painted them I decided to get this it looked really really cool. So yeah let's open it up I missed the uh, classics as well which was unfortunate the whole range I was aware of it but uh, yeah again I wasn't collecting toys I promised myself as you would have heard in another another video <coughs> here we have the uh, the adult collector moniker again you gotta love that Mattel's knocking it out of the park with the masters of the universe this 40th anniversary stuff it's absolutely amazing so let's see if we can carefully open this very very light just hope it's not empty. Just got one piece of tape. Oh, ho. damn! Sure you can get all that. Sorry, I'm just uh, staring at this for a little bit. This is the quality of the uh, the classics line. This is amazing. Let's let me clear this all away. Ah, so the classics weapon wrap is absolutely, uh, absolutely stunning. So the pegs are actually separate instead of molded. So if you see in the second hand market, all of these uh, on the vintage one have uh, been snapped off. I had all mine in perfect condition when I sold it, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got some halbergs, we've got a speed. This is missing on a lot of vintage stuff too. The little pistol. Look at that rifle sword the mace yeah, obviously yeah, they've been colored for whatever reason i don't know some of the the other guys heavy on law would probably know why these are red yeah that's the shield on the original one it had a little kind of a hook type feature where you just put the shield in which would make it fall off i'm guessing these clip on here but look at the detail on the wood on that look at that Absolutely beautiful. It's got a, like a very slight wash on there, I guess. That's what I'm seeing. And I like this little uh, hook here. It's a nod to the original Castle Grayscale, or the, the brass circle, sorry, here, which was on the vintage one, but not on the orange one. The Origins one. Orange. Let's have a look on the back. That's awesome. Classics. Collect them all. Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of these figures at all, except for maybe Skeletor. He looks really, really good, but uh, I've already got my Skeletor, so I don't need that either. Got a little hook thing down here as well. I like the idea of this too. This is pretty cool, the Attorney and, and Palace Guards. That's kind of nice. Tila looks good. Buzz off! I had him as a as a kid. That's kind of nice to see. I never did the battle armor he mans. That was massive uh, in the 80s, as well as the battle damage Hot Wheels cars. They're everywhere. 
you got Stratos 2 with a weird looking leg. You see that there? So I bumped it. Check the screen there. It's got like a little weird gap thing. You can see that. Anyway, I won't be collecting any of these. I, I don't need them. It's just, uh, I'd like to get a couple of the skeleton warriors. And if you don't know what they are, I'll show you. You already have known once I uh, show you the other video. Since this will be the one after. 2010, 12 years ago. Holy hell. Time flies. Right, Richmond, Victoria too. It's the state across from me. Wow, now the dilemma is, is do I open it? I've seen people do what I like to see is actually just get a, a razor blade and just cut down the sides here, which I think is a great idea instead of tearing it off the backing. Because at this time I'm keeping the backing for good. It's not going to get thrown away. It doesn't seem to be anything else, which is fine. This is exactly what I was expecting. I'm just trying to think if there was anything else missing. If not, it's probably on the uh, in the origins in the origins castle, I guess. Yeah, but how cool is this? That is so well done. Little bit of effects applied on the on the halberds here. That's nice. That kind of looks dusty, which is weird, but yeah. Oh, that's why there's uh, breathing holes in here. That's why I got dusty. That's weird. Got breathing holes down here as well. Hmm. That's the bottom of the rack. Man, this rack looks so good. Oh, from the look of it as well. There's pegs on the back as well, so it's it's moulded on both sides, which is absolutely awesome. The original was hollowed out, if you remember, and the origins one maybe as well. I haven't looked yet, but yeah, this really really suits it. And if I ever get the classic uh, castle, which is what 10, 12 years old also now, which is very expensive, I might be able to uh, pop this in as well. So yeah. If I open it, which I should, I will. Just not yet. But anyway, back to the other video. Cheers. Okay, guys, we've got one more thing to uh, compare. This is the weapon rack that I touched up, if you remember, from a previous video. And these are the accessories that come with, with the Castle Grayskulls. So again, the, the halberd, the, the small short sword, the weird-looking which doesn't fit on here very well, mace, and the laser sword. There's a space for a shield, but one doesn't come with it. You can hang your He-Man one off there if you like, which it does work. This is my vintage one, but uh, yeah, it actually sits on there quite nicely if you want to fiddle around with it a bit. Hang on. Okay, so there, and obviously you have the sorceress's staff as well, because she comes with the kit and there's one space left, so it just seems that I would stick it there, like such. So yeah, so that's basically what you get, which is fine, okay, but if you remember the vintage one, it was molded in orange and it had at least nine weapons, uh, a little pistol, a shield, an axe, a large spear, another kind of halberd style uh, weapon but uh yeah you don't get it so i thought instead of buying i had two choices buy a vintage one and put it on there which would look completely fine or i saw this here we have the weapons rack now this is the classics one it's the the adult collector nomica as well so yeah we're going to open this up and have a look and just compare what the difference is between the classics version for the adult collector and just the general retail for children. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's move this to the 
seed. Yeah, but this is the weapons rack for the Masters of the Universe Classics and for the Castle Grayskull Classics, which is much, much larger than this. But look at the difference in detail. Let's just try to make all of these. Excuse me. Yeah, so the silver that I did was a nice idea because it's it's done similarly to this. I would have done this as more metal as well, but it's a it's a different mold. And this has a different style of attaching the the shields and whatnot. But uh, yeah, and these are the weapons that actually did come with the original grayscale as well, but redone and was it vac metal or just weathered or painted or something? So you've got the broadsword which is this one, the pistol, which is missing from this set. We've got the laser rifle. This one, I actually like this one a little bit better. And I could actually probably paint that and make it look similar. This is the uh, the small axe with the handle. The original didn't come with the handle, but it, uh, yeah, it looked like this basically, so we get this. And see this mace? This is what it should look like. Not like this. See the difference in quality? Look at that. The original vintage set looked like this too, so yeah, that's, that's a bit of a disappointment. And obviously yeah, you get the shield, which we didn't get for this. I'm not sure if it'll fit on here. I'll check. And yeah, these are these are beautiful pieces, and just, just in themselves, they've got battle damage. We've got the sphere, we've got the smaller style axe, which would be good for a scare glow, or some of the robot skeleton, skeleton warriors that are coming. So no, I really, really dig these. Let me see here. Yeah, these have the, the parts coming out, which is what I remember. Yeah, this, this isn't so good. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to open this yet. I'm still debating whether I'm actually going to do that or not. I'll just leave it as is. But uh, if I do, I'll, I'll post it up. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you just for comparison. It looks really, really nice. I'll just turn it around, actually. And one in here which would look like that <laughs> this one is much larger but uh, again this would be sitting outside here on the on the playground or, or however you want to put it something like that yeah I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet but yeah it's just a nice piece and on the back I think I've already done this in the introduction as well but it's got the card backing of some really really cool classics figures I hope they bring them back. I wouldn't mind getting getting a couple. But yeah, that's the weapons rack. I may open it. I'll let you know. Cheers. <laughs>